say I'm just jumped twice while I'm uh really? Jesus! Did that fish just go for my thing when it landed? What the f is this? Dude, I'm recording, thank God. Yeah, I see them. They're right in front of me, actually. They're a rod length in front of me. Got some big waves rolling in, guys. Gotta be careful here. Okay. Woo. Good morning, guys. It's a Sunday morning, August, uh, I think 22nd, 2021, and we're back at Ambleside Beach. A lot of you guys liked it when I fished the ocean, so probably because you can see those flying bees of salmon in the water. Anyway, we're back, and today I'm actually gonna meet Jacob. He's the dude that I shouted out in my last video. Quick thing, though, it's pretty windy today, so the audio out in the water might be garbage. I'm gonna try not to talk too much unless it's really interesting and uh, maybe we'll just focus more on the fishing. And hey, maybe if we're lucky, the wind will die down. Guys, it is freaking windy, so yeah, there's not going to be a lot of talking. There's salmon jumping out here, though. I just saw a salmon jump in that wave. Ooh, those are some big waves. I haven't caught anything at Ambleside. This is the uh, slightly less well-known um, seaweed fish, cousin to the tree fish. Got some big waves rolling in, guys. Gotta be careful here. Okay. Woo. I saw them coming in in the middle and oh, they're just slamming the coast behind me. Keep your knees bent and one foot uh, slightly in front of the other. A little more than shoulder width apart, guys. Should be okay. All right, that might be the worst of it. Guys, I found a big old treasure, an ocean treasure. Let's go look at it. <laughs> look at this thing. What is this? What is this? <laughs> That's a good fish. Guys, I think we snagged the bottom since the bottom is not moving. Do you mind if I come see what you're using? Yeah. I'm just, I'm curious. Shit. Some of these waves are like quite large, so. Yeah, so I saw Be another careful. YouTuber set this one up. So it's just a, a hoochie. Um, these are called buzz bombs. Very popular. I've, I've read about these things. And uh, yeah, then it's got a siwash hook and then the thing that the guy does, instead of rather directly tying the line to the siwash, he puts a, um, a, uh, a swivel under it. So yeah. when the fish barrel roll and stuff like that, it doesn't... Oh, make, it can just spin with it. Yeah, it can that's, spin with it. That's genius. So, yeah, I thought it was a brilliant idea. That's it, really it genius. It worked really well. Like, they weren't able to get off from spinning. That's yeah. actually incredible. Yeah. I was going for a walk last night at uh, Spanish Banks with my wife and our dogs. And, um... Right off, like 10 feet offshore, there's a huge bait ball, and there was a seal. So I'm, I'm guessing there's some bigger fish chasing those bait ball, those bait, bait fish. A couple gentlemen over on the uh, Squamish, Squamish. Sorry if I mispronounce that, guys. Um, over on the, the Squamish uh, land, checking in, getting some fish right away. But yeah, all the fish essentially just stay pinned over on that side of the river, so. It's definitely a little bit easier for them to catch. I just see the rocks behind me. See the tides going out already. It starts to go up pretty fast now. 
all these guys here, they're gonna start moving up any minute, I think. I gotta make a trip up to Furry Creek. I thought about doing that today, but it's just, in my four hour sessions, I don't have enough time to go up there and, and make a go of it, so. I've tied on a uh, stimulator that I'm using uh, submerged to try to imitate um, a little spiky fluffy shrimp uh, or crab kind of thing. So yeah, we're gonna try that. I think that's probably a size 12 hook. So it's a little undersized, but probably big enough to get into the lip of a fish. We're also, Jacob, Jacob and I are making the move. Get ahead of all of these other crazy fishers. We're making the move as the waters are receding um, to move up into the ocean, but on the inside of the river. So, oh my God, it's so shallow right here. That's crazy. This guy up here already made the move. Jesus. Did that fish just go for my thing when it landed? What the f Is this? Dude, I'm recording, thank God. That was insane. Well, at least we're in the right place. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that fish. At least we're in the right place. Yeah. Just saw a big old salmon jump straight out in front of me, but unfortunately you guys were turned off. But if one of you can tell me in the comments, why do salmon jump? Because it does not happen a lot. And I want to know. Salmon just jumped right in front of Jacob. Real, uh, real class act, salmon. God, one salmon just jumped twice while I'm, uh, really? Really? Guys, I'm essentially, because of the wind, doing short, controlled, uh, downwind casts and just stripping it in to me right away. I've had enough fish jumps to, oh my gosh. Salmon just launched themselves, dude. Crazy bastards. I've had enough fish jump right out in front of me that I, really it's just a, a luck and a luck game. See that salmon out there? Oh, there it goes again. Salmon there. Sit, okay. What's he doing? What a goofball. Ah, uh, you guys weren't on. Oh, there's another one. Just missed up. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> A couple jumps you guys missed, so I turned you on. There's another one. Holy crap! Oh, ho, ho. guys, did you see that? Salmon are on point today.
Oh, that's a big boy. That's, that's a good eight pound salmon. Oh, you got a fish. You want a net? You want a net? Excuse me. Do you mind if I put it on video? I just want to, I have a YouTube. So I just want to see what the coho looks like. Thanks. Thank you. Well guys, I guess there's coho here. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, with the way the, the waves are today, I don't think I'm going out to the uh, the far island. You should see the waves out there, guys. They're like five feet high. <laughs> Big old pool of salmon straight up in front of me, guys. There's another one. So cool. Dude, everyone has fish this morning. This is the third guy I've seen with a fish. That's a nice one. 